All right, before this video starts, I want to preface this with, it's kind of our motto here over at the channel, The Wandering Wyatts. We don't know what we're doing. Solar is something that's completely new to us and we have not yet researched it. And we bought a solar panel. So it's one of those things that the deal was great. We jumped in and we're gonna learn as we go. You guys feedback is very important to us. So make sure and watch the video, like it and comment below with your thoughts on solar. If you currently use solar or have in the past, we would love to hear your feedback and thoughts on how to do this properly. Okay, on to the video. Welcome to the video. <laughs> YouTube. Same shirt, different day. Is it the same shirt? Oh, it is. Same shirt, different day. I just threw the shirt on like late yesterday. Wh whatever. It's not This video is not about the shirt. Going to a place called Harbor Freight. They're known for uh, what it is is basically uh, sometimes not always the best quality, but sometimes it is really good quality. It's just ways to get cheaper equipment. So it's all the way from, you know, like any, anything that you would need for a contractor all the way to, uh, say, solar panels. So that's what we're here for today. We're going to pick up... Um, kind of an all-in-one solar kit. Uh, it's only 100 watt. I'm not sure what that's gonna be able to do. I mean, we're not familiar with solar. So we're just kind of taking a stab in the dark because we found out we're gonna be possibly boondocking a bit more. So. Like what we do with everything. We yeah. just so. jump in and then figure it out after. Yeah, so that's what we're doing here All today. right, <laughs> solar. Who knew that we would be doing a video about solar less than a week before our trip? So we will see if we can figure this out. It's 150, it's on sale for 150 dollars today's the last day the reviews are great online and I had a friend at the gym tell me about it <clears throat> she said you guys need to look into it I did look more into it <laughs> possibly get it we're probably gonna get it try it out if it doesn't work then we might end up bringing it back but hopefully not I mean the goal is to obviously keep it and be able to take it on this trip and yep knock out some some good you know solar right. activity <laughs> okay welcome to the video you already said that okay So this is pretty cool. A friend of mine actually started a meal prep and delivery service local to the San Marcos area and she hooked us up with a couple of these, I don't even want to call it a salad because this thing is huge. I mean it's going to weigh several pounds. <laughs> is that quinoa, edamame, beets, <coughs> see cauliflower, brussels sprouts, cashews, little fried wonton strips, kale, and then it's a... That's like a peanut ginger? A peanut ginger dressing. Matt's playing video games at work. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> but it's good. And I mean, from your standpoint. I don't eat salads. No. It's so good. I actually ate a couple peppers just because it had some of the sauce on it. Yeah. This is delicious. Man. So, good job, Mod. Modern Kitchen. I'll put her information on the screen in case you guys are interested. All right. Okay. Let's see what this thing is all about. Lots of lots of boxes. So these are the light bulbs. So it comes with the two light bulbs that you can power, and it actually does a good amount of power, I believe. <laughs> we just have two of these, and I think. <laughs> what are we gonna do with those? <laughs> we can run them through that hole in our roof. <laughs> Hang it from the bowl hole. Hey, that's a decent cord. You could run that inside. Yeah, it's probably about 20 feet. Set that by the bed. And there's two of them. How does it turn on? Is it a, a button? Oh, I see the little controller thingy. So those will be lighting the trailer for the duration of our trip. We're also on LED lighting, so really we didn't need lighting. It's uh, more so uh, the main part of where you're pointing. It's really hard to hold this in selfie mode. Like, it's heavy. Don't you work out? Yeah, but I'm tired because I work out. <sighs> Get down here. I'm down here. So then also you have these leads right here. And so this is what actually connects your controller, which is running the power from the solar panels into your battery. And so we don't know enough <clears throat> about solar. We do know that you need a battery, right? Of sorts. 
think. Obviously, what we were trying to do is just connect it directly into our RV and hope that it supplements power. That, I don't think, is the case. I think what we bought, at least, is off-grid, which is you power a battery, or, you know, you charge a battery, and then you can use the battery for X amount of time, depending on how long it takes to discharge it. So it's a second light. This connects the controller to the four solar panels that we now have. Nice. Each one being 25 watt. Nice. Here's the mountable controller. It looks like this can also run power directly to USB. There's the solar input. These are also solar input. That's interesting. Yes, DC output. That's also interesting. Here's where you connect the lights. It looks like this is where you turn on the lights, possibly. Huh. You can charge your phones! Yeah, you can charge phones. So we or... can at least do that, do that via with... solar. Yeah, we can do that with basic solar. And this looks like it probably scrolls through some kind of modes. Simple digital screen there. Well, let's see what these things look like. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> there's, there's a light on. <laughs> I am built. <laughs> we should name them all. I'm not going to name them all. Yes. Yeah, that's ridiculous. You know we will. <laughs> Lots of recycling. Recycling today, yeah. Oh. We've got Bill, Gil. Bill, Gil. So what does that mean? So right now, this is uh, our current battery. So it's uh, this is reading 13.3. This is like a, what are they called, multimeter? Whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I don't sure. work with electricity ever. So this is showing 13.3. What we want to see is basically something charging it. So oh, okay. If I had this right, and that's, I don't know if this is right, then we would actually just plug the, the solar into this, mm -hmm. and then this would actually just be pretty much it. Like that's, it just charges it. So if this goes down, what it does is it automatically puts it in. And so this might be what I wanted. This might be what, like, basically, we can keep using it, and it just kind of puts it back up to normal storage again. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. So, yeah. All right, so... What does that have to do with the solar panels? Just so we know that this is working. <laughs> uh oh. We have some friends. Oh, we got more friends coming. <laughs> funny that they see us outside and they assume that we're giving them food. You got baby in there. <laughs> Sorry, we're just setting up solar, guys. I don't have any food. Sorry. Okay, so we need a battery. So we'll probably need just another battery, or the other option is we can test it without, um, and this is, maybe y'all can give me some more insight on this, um, but we would have to unhook from the electricity on, on the back side of this, the 30 amp. Um, and then we would have to run down the battery and then try to recharge it. And then also maybe even try to run things while it's charging. That's what uh, I'm so thinking. During the day. And, so, and we can see what kind of results it has. I and mean, so, that's how we would test it. Yeah, but this would just be our experiment. Having an extra battery charged on hand. Yeah, and actually I, I didn't realize, but there's another extra slot for a battery. And really? So might as well get another battery. Yeah. Perfect. But I do yeah. want to test this out before trip yeah so maybe tomorrow but it also might rain tomorrow so we're just kind of seeing it day by day yeah there's oh we haven't even discussed that whole scenario the rain but we're gonna clean up pick up the stuff and then head inside because it's nasty out here it, it feels, feels gross. so gross like you could probably tell from the state of my hair it is so gross that's what it does it just fluffs anyway just we're unsure about where we're gonna be this weekend before the trip so yeah. anyway 
have two new things now. One is actually this. We've had the, like we have two of these, one on the front, well, you know, this being the front, and then one on the back side. I mean, all over the thing when we first bought it, it's a company called Zamp, Z Amp, whatever it is. Um, I guess maybe they paid to have their stickers on here, but it's literally the same plug. So I'm hoping this works, but I mean, we'll just, I don't know, we'll test it out. That's another thing. We'll, we'll probably just unplug tomorrow afternoon and then uh, run some things, try to kill the battery, and then see if we notice a charge after a while. I don't know. It would be nice to have a whole day of it, but we don't have time to do that. We'll just need one more weekend. We'll, we'll time Saturday morning. Ooh, we can try it Saturday morning while it's raining. <laughs> but the other thing is, um, actually uh, have another battery. Backup battery, so just a little extra. And then uh, what we're also gonna have is, I'm gonna buy some longer, uh, what are they called? Jumper cables. And so what that'll do is I can run the jumper cable from, you know, the car battery while it's running and charge the uh, RV battery. And that's just worst case scenario. So I'm going to try not to do that. <laughs> um, but that's just uh, in case we need the, like, I don't want to do anything manual as far as like the jacks or anything. And so, or the jack mainly, it's just the one front. Um, and so I want that to, to come up pretty easily. And so in case the battery dies and I can't do anything more, because it literally died the last time we were, we were doing it. And it was at the top of its position and I was like I think it goes up higher than this and it wouldn't go and I realized if we plug back in it would go up the rest of the way but it was already there so that's the story of my life <laughs> hey oh my okay just no yeah hold on wait what what do you have what do you have <laughs> Brady give me give it to Brady what do you have what is that? Watch out! <laughs> what is it? Are you proud? Look at you! What? Look at you! Bumping into everything! Oh, Brady, look at you! <laughs> oh my gosh! Let me see. Look at his tail! Let me see. Oh my gosh! Can I see it? Oh, he's got a good grip. Brady, where are you going? Where are you gonna take it? Brady, hey. You wanna go inside? Ready? What? Well, that's Ready? impressive. Get it. You ready? Oh! <laughs> Stupid box. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting so itchy. All right, Brady, you want to go inside? Oh, look at that face. Come in. Oh, all right, I thought I was going to try to bring it in. Brady, 